Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. I'm not sure about you all, but recently Appa, actually I would say recent years, Appa will find it's tougher and tougher to order uh, seafood or fish uh, outside at the restaurant because the price is really getting more and more stiff until um, I feel it's more comfortable to cook it at home. <laughs> anyway, uh, would you want to share with me how much you have been you have been ordered for uh, one fish per kilo uh, outside? Uh, I remember about two weeks ago when Appa was in Penang, I was quoted about 80 ringgit um, per kg for a grouper. I, th I think that is actually quite expensive. Anyway, and that is only a very normal restaurant, not even the higher class one. Okay, anyhow, uh, leave your comment below. Yeah. Now, today, uh, Appa has uh, probably about five 600 grams of uh, snapper here. This one I bought it from a seafood, little seafood truck, probably about 40 plus kg, uh, 40 plus ringgit per kg. All right, so uh, I'm going to steam it and make some sauce. Yeah, very simple. So uh, what I do is make sure you clean the fish kidney thoroughly, which is the center, the middle part of the bones here, or the blood. You have, you can actually uh, remove it using some uh, tooth, toothbrush to help you and uh, that will remove the fishiness here yeah? and then um, sprinkle it with a little bit of uh, salt and put in some ginger I did put two ginger at the bottom to raise the fish up a little bit so that the fish can be steamed more evenly okay let's put the fish into um, the steamer before we continue don't we we won't waste any time So get ready a steamer. Once the steam is released, then you can slowly put in the fish. And close it with a lid. And I'm going this fish is about 600 gram. Uh, not too thick and not too big. So I'm going to steam it for approximately 10 minutes and uh, let it rest inside for probably about 30 seconds to 1 minute. So we will, uh, we will use uh, medium high heat to steam. We'll come back shortly. Okay, this is what we need to uh, make the sauce. I have one bowl of chicken stock and this is approximately 1 tablespoon of uh, minced ginger, 3 tablespoons of minced garlic. Uh, this is about Mm, close to one tablespoon of uh, coriander roots red chili also about one tablespoon this is approximately one to two tablespoon of spring onion um, why is it one tip why is it uh, not a lot because this is what i left <laughs> i'm just using whatever left in my uh, fridge all right so we are going to make the sauce i'm going to start with putting in some garlic oil this will definitely enhance the flavor. If you don't have garlic oil at home, of course, you can use uh, normal vegetable oil. Yeah? But if you have garlic oil, by all means. Then we are going to saute the ginger, the garlic, or probably the, or probably leave uh, this tree towards the end Ooh, I already smell the very fragrant garlic smell because I use garlic oil just now I'll probably add in a little bit of vegetable oil here so saute the garlic for a minute or two before we continue to get the nice fragrant out we'll come back shortly so this is after the approximately 5 minutes sauteing using a medium high heat. You can start seeing uh, about 50% of the garlic has already turned brownish. This is the time when we can actually add in the fresh coriander, the chili and half of the spring onion. Give it a few stir. Then I'm going to add in the chicken stock. And 
we can start give it some seasoning and put it in a bit of fish sauce all the ingredients I use, I will put inside the uh, um, the video list. The sorry, the video description. Okay, a bit of oyster sauce. A bit of light soy sauce. Oh, this is this is the sweet soy sauce. Wrong. <laughs> this is the light soy sauce. Okay. And this is the dark soya sauce for the color. And I will add a bit of saoxing wine. Of course, for those who don't take alcohol, you don't have to put in any alcohol. Give it a few stir. I'll put in a little bit of uh, sugar and salt as well. To adjust the taste. This is the salt and sugar. So make sure the sugar and salt is, is fully melted. And basically our sauce is ready. We just need to wait for the fish. You don't have to put in any cornstarch to this. Okay, go off the fire. And let's just wait for the fish. Okay, this is after um, steaming using medium high heat for about 10 minutes and I let it stay inside the wok for another 30 seconds to allow the rest still heat to continue cooking the fish. Ooh, nice. See all, okay, first of all, remove all the steams. This is very hot. And then you're going to see all this fishy water. We don't want all this fishy water here. Okay, some people say that's the natural goodness. No, that is the source of fishiness. <laughs> okay, remove all the fishy water. We're just going to take out the fish and put it, uh, move it over to the, uh, serving plate okay so we have moved the fish over to a serving plate here without the uh, steaming water then drench the sauce all over the fish oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. of course if you have some um, some more fresh coriander leaves you can garnish on top i already finished mine <laughs> anyway this already looks really good Okay, so uh, that's how simple it is. I hope you like my steam. Actually, this is very similar to Lan Jie Fei Zhou Yu. Yeah? But of course, I'm using a snapper today. Alright, so I hope you like my very uh, simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.